All right, welcome to Yogi Galactica in your home. My name is Pamela, and Siri is on his way. My mom's trying to get on today, so I'm sending her a text right now because she's trying to figure this out. They're out in Marcola, Oregon. Let's see if they've joined us. Um, I'm going to go to my Facebook page and share this post. Everything good? Um, so that it can also be on my page live. Let's see. Where are we? What am I wearing today? Okay, here we are. All right, good morning, everybody. While well, Kamala is doing some sharing. Hi, Benita. <laughs> are you talking? Yeah, you kind of just yelled right in the middle of me talking, so I, I thought you were... In the uh, always interesting in the morning, isn't it? <laughs> Go for it, Siri. Yeah, so, uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry we are a few minutes late. Of course, we have four dogs. You guys know that we have four dogs, and getting their food ready in the morning is a little interesting, and today was just that. So, we're a few minutes late. Sorry about that, but we're here for you for this transmission. Give yourself these next 30 to 45 minutes to just let go of the day, let go of this week, let go of whatever craziness is happening out in the world so you can just really focus in on yourself so that way you can focus in on the world in more calm, centered, and full capacity. So... Uh, the best way to experience this transmission is to plug into some speakers. I'll give you a few moments to figure that out. If you can, try to um, do it over Bluetooth, or if you have a speaker system, plug it straight into there. Um, like we've said before, you don't even really need to watch this video. Uh, you can watch it for reference, but um, really the audio is the most important part. And so... Um, I'll give you a moment to do that. I'll give you a moment to grab some water. Um, if you use the restroom if you need to, grab a mat. Whatever you need to do, just take a moment or so as we prepare for this quick shift right here, right now. This is Wednesday, March 25th, 11.18 a.m. And... Hi, Micah. Hi, Mo. Hi, Caroline. Hi, Benita. Hi, Renata. Jennifer. Mom and Dad, I hope you're watching too. If you are, maybe send me a quick text so I know that you got it. Um, so happy to be here with you all today. So, um, yeah, as some of you may have heard, we, have, we now have beloved family members that are experiencing this virus and we found out that there are more um, and so I really, oh, thank you so much, Jared, or Bija, thank you. She said, you transform quarantine into a blessing. Woohoo! Yeah, we, we do our best, and thank you for quarantining. I just want to say to everyone out there, thank you so much for really taking everyone in your hands. When you decide to quarantine, you are thinking about the world not just yourself. You're putting yourself first, which is what we talk about all the time. But you're literally helping this entire earth right now by staying at home and taking care of yourself. And that's why we're doing these live streams every single day so that you can take a moment to just breathe, ground in, you know, be surrounded virtually by all of your friends and loved ones who are also taking this time out for themselves to center, to ground, to breathe, to let go of social media, the news, everything for a moment and focus in on you. And it is a gift, it is an honor to share these transmissions with you and I, I just really thank you for doing this. Um, yeah, we know six people. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Taryn. Thank you for watching. First time. We now know six people 
that have the virus that are all very dear to us. One of them is almost out of it, doing well, um, and three of them are, are struggling, but I have full faith that they are going to pull through this. So it is serious, and yesterday it really came in close and hit home. So um, let's, let's ground in, let's breathe together. Siri, is there anything you wanna say? Um. Yeah, you know, if you're not taking this seriously, now is the time to start. We've been taking this seriously, and maybe even more so than a lot of our friends and family. Well, not family, <laughs> but a lot of our friends in the beginning were just like, oh, whatever, I'm not going to get it. It's around the world. It's not here. Oh, it's here. It's happening. We get uh, emails daily from uh, something in the valley I can't remember what it's called but there are literally the cases are doubling daily and now we personally know six people um, not in our immediate community right here in Los Angeles but six people uh, throughout this country friends and family that have it so now is the time more than ever to take this as serious as you can it doesn't mean be scared it doesn't mean live in fear it just means take all the necessary precautions. Only go out if you absolutely have to. And when you go out, Kamala did this the other day, this is great. Try to wear like something that you can shed everything as soon as you get home. So say you're wearing your normal clothes, then put on a jumpsuit over that, then wear a mask, then wear goggles, then wear a beanie, then wear gloves. Go out, take care of your business, and before you even get in the house, strip off that whole outer layer and then maybe go upstairs and take a shower immediately. Um, a few good things to remember, drink warm fluids because this works in our, um, in our throat, in our mucus tract. And if you're drinking cold fluids or not drinking any fluids at all, it's just gonna stay there and sit and grow and multiply. So every 20 minutes, every hour, whatever, drink warm fluids that's going to help break up that fluid and mucus in this uh, throat and in the lining and it'll bring it down into the belly where ideally your stomach acid can help kill it um, so that's just one of a plethora of things that you can be doing yeah. rest is really important um, this I'd is love, i'd love to share the post from our friend yona maybe we can copy and paste it from our dear friend who immediately, as soon as he felt that he had something, started uh, started doing, started being very proactive in healing himself, and he is doing really, really. He got through it with literally mild symptoms. I know that's not going to be the case for everybody, but I think it would be really helpful to share that post, yeah, Siri, it's a good so idea. that people could see what he did. Um, and I know all of our bodies are different, but just so that you can, if you feel any symptoms, if you have it, you can go in to this with hope and, and with, a positive, uh, with, with positive energy because it, 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 it is really uh, helpful to try to stay in a centered, grounded space when you're dealing with, with all of this. So, um, yeah. We love you so much. Siri, I'm sorry I interrupted you right right in the middle of it all. This is all very intense, so you know we're going through it too, and uh, we're doing our best here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two more things I wanna add. Okay. Breath work, this breath that we're gonna share with you today is miraculous, and it's not a bunch of woo-woo, hippy-dippy stuff, you know, breath work, oh, you know, you're gonna get high off your breath. No, it, uh, there's an actual physiological effect that's happening in the body. We're alkalizing the blood. We are oxygenating every single cell. And it is very challenging for virus infection disease to live in the body when you are in an oxygen rich environment. And so this breath work we're gonna share with you today is amazing. And even if you're feeling bad, even if you're feeling good, do this breath. It's called the Wim Hof breath. That's one part of the Wim Hof method. The other part, and most of you are going to shiver and shudder when I say this, but it is cold exposure. And I'm not just talking about going outside when it's cold. I'm no. talking about taking cold showers. And the 
positive effects of cold water for the body, the immune system, the nervous system are profound. Yes. And so what I highly recommend is if you're feeling anything come on, do three to five rounds of this Wim Hof breath that we're going to share with you today. And if you can, go in the shower, take a normal shower, hot shower, start normal, and then slowly turn that hot water all the way off until it's cold. And then let that cold water run all over your body, every single part from your head to your armpits to your privates to everywhere. Let it run all over you as long as you can. Maybe it's only 10 seconds. Maybe it's 30 seconds. Try not to tense up when you're in the cold water. Try to relax and just take some long, deep breaths. And I promise you, you will feel so much better. It literally like a jump start for your immune system, your nervous system. So just a couple little tips and tricks, and uh, we're gonna jump into this practice here. All right. Buddha said, hi. So find your mat and just pull the flesh out from underneath your thigh, sitting in easy pose, cross-legged position. Let's turn our palms down on our knees and let's take a deep inhale through the nose. And let's sigh it out. Ha. Ah. Every sigh or release. Do that again. Deep inhale. Ha. chakra one more time deep inhale ah. Ah. good now deep inhale through the nose and gently hold at the top squeeze the breath around a little bit and let's sip it a little more through the mouth now I'd like you to think about one thing that made you feel so happy today Made you feel some gratitude. Hold that within you. Let it swell. Whenever you're ready, powerfully exhale the breath out through the mouth. And hold empty. And now turn your palms up to the sky. And as you hold empty, let that gratitude fill you. Whatever it is that made you feel happy, grateful, let that fill you up. And whenever you're ready, with a deep inhale, breathe it into every cell. And open the mouth. Now fearlessly sigh it out. Ha! Ah, shake shoulders. Head, elbows. Make a little noise. Shake the body out. Get a little weird. <laughs> now inhale. Reach up to the sky. Stretch. And as you exhale, slowly bringing the palms down to the chest. And with an inhale, rub the palms, fingers, knuckles. Create some friction, warm up the hands. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, coming back to stillness, except for the breath. Taking slow, deep breaths into the belly, letting the belly expand. And as you exhale, imagine that breath going into every single part of your body, to the tips of your fingers and toes. And imagine this is healing energy going through you, to you. And taking a precious moment, a pause, to be so grateful for your breath your life force, your prana. And now turn your left hand into the center of your chest and your right on top, holding right at the area that your collar blades come together. This is the thymus. And I'd like you to just pat that area. Pat that area. This is where the high heart lives, as my mentor says. It's also a really powerful immune boost. Now rubbing this area, stimulating the immune system. And do it again. Pat and rub in that area. Good. 
Good. One last time. Ha. This virus attacks the lungs, really goes into the lungs. So we want to make sure that our immune systems are strong, our lungs are strong, which is why we do breath work. Now, holding the high heart, I want you to send yourself a prayer of love and gratitude as you just thank your body for being healthy and for its ability to heal. And thank yourself for showing up to give back to you every day. What a gift. Just really opening yourself up to fill your cup, to become centered and grounded throughout this practice. Bow your chin to your chest, and as you do so, again, send yourself love. Thanks. Beautiful. Deep inhale. Ah. Placing your hands on the earth, palms fingers wide, fing, palms wide, fingers spread out. We send a prayer down to Pachamama, Mama Gaia. We thank you for all you give us every single day. And we see right now as we are in solitude, you are healing, revive, revitalizing. And we are so grateful for that as you give us every single thing we eat, we wear, we buy, we sell, all of your elements supporting us on our daily journey. So as we see and witness you healing, we pray that we heal with you as a whole, this world coming together, seeing our connected, connectedness and treating each other as equals. So with our heads bowed, let's send a prayer out to this earth, a prayer of love, a prayer of thanks, feeling our connection to her. Good. Inhale, sitting tall, and as you exhale, let's place your hands on your shoulders, four fingers down in front, palms and back. Now inhale, pull the elbows together, Lift them up and exhale, opening your shoulders, big circles. Inhale, pull them together. Up, exhale, round and back. And again, inhale, pull them up. Exhale, round them up. Let's reverse that. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, draw those elbows together.
doesn't matter how far you fold, just rock from side to side. Rocking from side to side. Breathing. Maybe gently, gently bouncing a little bit. tabletop position on your mat with your fingers spread wide. Take a deep inhale, drop the belly low, tilt the head back. Exhale, round the back, drop the head down. Squeeze the navel, inhale, belly low, head back. Exhale, round the back, head down. Pack, pack. Find your pace. Slow with your breath.
center. Deep inhale. Exhale, tuck the toes, use your abs, pressing up to downward facing dog. Shaking the head out. Bouncing a little. Bounce, 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 bounce. Or walk into place. Activating your body in this pose. It's a resting pose where every muscle is active. Downward facing dog. Deep inhale here. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or jump to the front of the mat and come into a forward fold, clasp your elbows and just bounce and sway as you breathe. <sighs> Inhale, lifting up. Oh, exhale, shake it out. Do that again. Inhale, lift up. Oh, exhale, shake it out. Release your hands down. Down, down, down. Now bend your knees and open your eyes. Look down so you don't get dizzy. Slowly on an inhale, rolling your body up. Shoulders round, head is heavy. Coming all the way up. Hi, Amy. Hi, Brad. Exhale here. Inhale. Reach forward and up. And exhale. Hands come to your heart. Good. Taking a moment here in mountain pose, Tadasana. Rocking between your feet. Spreading your toes wide. Gripping them down on the earth. Tucking your tailbone under. And breathing strong stance. Beautiful. And what we're going to do is take a deep inhale. Exhale, release the hands down. Inhale, reach out, reach out. Clasp your hands, point your index fingers up, and as you exhale, you're going to fold to the right. And press your left foot down. Breathe. Tuck your tailbone and breathing into the side of the body.
down, clasp your hands behind your back, take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, fold forward, and just let your hands lift up, stretching out the shoulders, breathing here, if you need to, you can bend your legs, that's fine, I'm going to do that, and breathe, rocking to the right a little, rocking to the left a little, If your legs are straight, go ahead and bend them now. Take one more inhale. And as you exhale, letting the hands come down to the mat. Stepping back into plank position. Deep inhale at the top of plank. And exhale, slowly riding that breath down all the way to the earth. Let's come into baby cobra right here hands hovering breath of fire 20 seconds if you've never done breath of fire stick your tongue out in the mouth pant like a dog focus on the exhale the in breath will come naturally then close your mouth transfer the breath to the nose 10 seconds hand on your heart and one hand on your belly, feeling your precious heart beating, feeling your belly moving, and again being so grateful for your health and your body's ability to heal. Good job, friends. All right, you guys, great job so far. Hopefully you're feeling shifted here, feeling that blood pumping through your body, feeling this oxygen, also prana, life force, filling you up whole, full, complete. And this is the breath that we're going to practice right now that we had mentioned in the beginning of this session called the Wim Hof breath. And with this breath, we oxygenate the body, we alkalize the blood, we displace any built up CO2, and we get it lit in here. So what we're going to be doing, you're going to come laying down on your back for this breath. Please come laying down on your back, and we're going to be taking 40 to 50 powerful breaths into the body through the mouth, and the exhale is a soft exhale, so it's a bigger breath in, soft exhale, we do it rhythmically, we do it together, it sounds like this. So go ahead and join in right here, we're just going to begin. That's it. Big inhale, soft exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Pull it in, let it go. Pull it in, let it go. That's it. Breathe so deep that your whole chest and belly and torso expands like a balloon. And exhale, just relax deeply. Good. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Relax so deeply that you're 
as you can with the breath held out. But when you're ready, when you feel it, allow yourself to take a nice big breath in. And when you do take that breath in, now we're going to do an extended hold at the top of the breath. Just holding in as long as you can right here at the top. space as long as you can, but taking that nice big inhale when you feel you need it, and when you do take that breath in, really pull it in big. Now you're going to hold in at the top of the breath, holding in here for at least 15 seconds, but if you can, try to hold even longer. Let the breath come back to neutral. Slow, smooth, long, deep breathing. And now in this final minute, before we give you a little sound bath experience, I want you to take one minute to just move your body in any way, any direction that feels good. Finishing off your practice, if there's any last little stretch you'd like to do, any posture you'd like to do, 
take that final minute here just to move the body in any way that feels good. A few suggestions, you could do cat stretch by pulling one knee up into the chest, rotating it across the body towards the floor, and then twisting your head and neck in the other direction. Just take about 30 more seconds. So if you're doing something that has two sides to it, try to get both sides. to a place of stillness your here on your mat. <clears throat> and now finding the most comfortable spot for you to lay down and relax. If you have a blanket, cover yourself up with a blanket. If you have something to put over your eyes, like a scarf or a shirt, do that. If you have a pillow, instead of putting it under your head, put it under your knees. And now together, take a nice, big, deep inhale. Hold that breath in for five, four, three, two, one. Open the mouth, exhale it out. And relax. Great job, you guys.
Yes, there is fear. Yes, there is isolation. Yes, there is sickness. And yes, there is even death. But they say that in Wuhan, after so many years of noise, you can hear the birds again. They say that after just a few weeks of quiet, the sky is no longer thick with fumes, but blue and clear. They say that in Italy, people are singing to each other across the empty squares, keeping their windows open so that those who are alone may hear the sounds of families around them. They say that in the west of Ireland, a young woman is spreading flyers with her number through the neighborhood so that the elders may have someone to call on. All over the world, people are slowing down and reflecting and looking at their neighbors in a new way. All over the world, people are waking up to the reality of how big we really are to our interconnectedness and to how little control we really have. Waking up to what really matters, to the power of prayer, meditation, kindness, caring, and love. So we pray and remember that while there is fear, there does not have to be hate. Yet there is isolation, but there does not have to be loneliness. Yes, there is sickness, but there does not have to be disease of the soul. And yes, there is pain, suffering, and death but there can always be a rebirth of community, peace, harmony, and love. Wake to the choices you make as to how you live today and now. Breathe, listen, pay attention. The birds are singing, the sky is clearing, and love always encompasses us. Open the windows of your soul and though you may not be able to touch across the empty square, sing and give thanks for your life and all you have. And take a nice big inhale and exhale it out. Ah. Letting the fingertips and toes begin to wiggle and move. Letting the hands and the feet, the wrists and the ankles begin to twist and turn. Bring this movement into the spine, shifting left and right. And then reach the arms up and over the head and gently squeeze through the whole body. And then as you relax, let the knees float up into the chest. Take the hands on top of the knees and begin to draw circles in one direction with the knees and go in the opposite direction. And then wrap the arms tightly around the legs. Give yourself a giant hug. Tell yourself, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. And when you're ready, begin to rock yourself up and down on your mat, rocking all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down until you rock yourself up into a seated position right here, right now. Let your eyes be closed for this final portion as we finish out our shift today. Take the hands, rub them together. Create some heat, some friction, activate all the nerve endings in the palms, and then bring the hands into prayer position, thumbs touch into the center of the chest. And as we breathe here in these final moments, first, bless up the space that you practice in today, whether it's your living room or bedroom, office, wherever you may be practicing, bless it up. Imagine there's light overflowing, pouring out from your body into this entire space, surrounding each person, each thing, each animal, every plant, whatever it is that's in the space, just bless it up. And we thank this transmission, the internet, to be able to live stream this experience for you. And then take a moment to send some 
loving energy, some healing, beautiful golden light to somebody in your life that needs a little bit of a boost right here, right now. Let it flow from your heart to theirs. And then take some of this light and surround our entire planet with this light, the light of love, peace, compassion, empathy. Let it flow all across the globe, literally touching and affecting every person, every animal, plant, insect, the water, the mountains, the sky, the trees, every single thing here. And then let the chin fold down into the chest. And as you turn inward here, seeing this light radiating from deep within you all the way down to the quantum field where everything is just pure vibration. Bless yourself. Thank yourself. Honor yourself. And then we extend this light to all of our teachers, our mentors, all of those that have shared these technologies so we may be able to practice and share them today. We are forever grateful and honored. Satnam, Satnam. Namaste. Namaste, Aho, Aho. Blessed, be. blessed be. And when you're ready, just let your eyes slowly blink open with a soft gaze, perhaps first looking down at the earth and then slowly up. Let the smile draw across your face and really just feeling all of these sensations swirling through your body, your mind, your heart, your soul, and just know that you are loved. We love you. Thank you so much for joining us for this transmission. What a special experience to be able to share with you. Even though we cannot be in the same room together, it feels like we are through these experiences and transmissions. So we just want to say thank you so much. Thank you, Kamala, for just being amazing. Even though we have our little moments, we always get through it and are stronger because of it. So thank you. I love you. I love you too, babe. Thank and you. Uh, you're welcome. And again, we love you guys so much. It really is miraculous that we get to do this. I know a lot of people tuned in today. And if you're still with us, we just cannot thank you enough. So mwah, here it is. We thank you. Love you, Mom. Love you, Dad. Yay. Tanya, Brian, Taryn, Jared, Ooh. Mo, Caroline, Ooh. Vanita, yeah. Jennifer, oh. Renata. Uh -huh. And I know there's so many more. Um, we love you so much. Please be safe. Please quarantine. Drink lots of warm fluids as often as you can. Gargle. That's really, really good for really killing bacteria in the throat. And please reach out to us for support, for love. Um, you know, we love to talk to you as well. And, yeah. uh, and last thing, all of these transmissions I are a gift to you guys. And to keep it running, if you feel called, we would gladly accept any donations. It is not mandatory by any means. We're doing this from our hearts to yours. But if you're feeling called and if you're in a place to do so, you can do that through PayPal. Our email address is yogagalactica at gmail.com. You can send it through Venmo, which is the at sign, Yoga Galactica, all one word. Or you can just head over to our website and there's a donate tab right there and you should be able to donate right through our website. But again, it is not mandatory as this is a gift from us to you. Mm -hmm. But if you're in a place you can do it, we appreciate it. Also, a huge favor, please go to our YouTube page and click subscribe. The more subscribers we have, the more we get to share this with the community and the more people get to benefit from these experiences. All of these videos are archived in our video section and we've got loads of them, at least a few hundred videos for you to experience these transmissions. So please comment, share, yeah. like, um, subscribe to our YouTube page. All of the audio is on our podcast. Just yeah. search Yoga Galactica Podcast. And all any of that helps so much. We hope you have an amazing day. Any final words? Yeah, the poem that I read was sent to me by my mentor, Miranda Barrett. I don't know who wrote it. It's just the initials RV. So whoever RV is, thank you for that beautiful writing. And also Miranda Barrett on Instagram, Miranda at Miranda J. Barrett. Um, a lot of you have experienced her as we've shared her with so, so many of you. She is our mentor, our teacher, one of our one of the people that's really helped change my life. She's doing free um, 
just uh, immune boosting tips, breathing tips, uh, all kinds of amazing healthy tips live on our Instagram page. I'm reposting them on my Instagram at Kamala Mathis. I'll also post them on the Yoga Galactica Instagram. We love you so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a beautiful day. Stay healthy and well. Love you, Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Mo. Thank Tune you, in Mo. again tomorrow at 11.11. 11. We will continue to do this.